In this lecture of Autodesk Revit structures, we will be drawing reinforcement in isolated footing. First of all, starting with the construction default template. We have discussed in details what are the templates and where to use which template in previous lectures. We go to the top of footing level and then go to structure and let's draw the floor structural. If you have to use the footing option in Autodesk Revit, you need to have a column already made. But right now for demonstration purposes, I am using the floor option. And press the tick mark button. So it is a 6 inch concrete slab. Let's change the thickness first. Duplicate the property and rename it as footing of 24 inches or 2 feet. And from here you need to change the thickness to 24 and click on OK. Now you can change it to fine or make it realistic view. Let's cut a section to the footing pad. Change the drawing scale to a smaller scale as the section line is appearing to be quite large. Select it to fine option. We need to see if footing is at the correct level. Now let's import the reinforcement rebar shapes. We already discussed how to import the libraries in Revit. So now I'm going to import all the reinforcement rebar shapes into Revit. Just to be sure that we require and use the correct reinforced rebar shape when needed. After the reinforcement rebar shapes are imported, click on the three dots to see the rebar shapes we are working with. The dashed line shows the cover of the structural member that is already assigned to the member. You can change the bar lengths. Let's draw a detail line for a reference and click on 3 inches offset from the bottom as the footing has a typical 3 inches offset from the bottom and move the reinforcement rebar from the center
or the bottom since the cover is clear and add constraint so that the bar moves straight upward and then delete the reference line we can see the reinforcement has been drawn just exactly at the section location now we can either make the copies of reinforcement rebar but first we are going to place the rebar at the location where it is initiating from I am drawing a detailed line to specify the cover of the rebar from the face of the footing let's move it now delete the rebar delete the detail line now I can go to fixed number or number with spacing option and edit the spacing and quantities of the reinforcement according to the structural design you can use these parameters to be set according to the code you are using and according to your design I'm specifying the bars at a spacing of 5 inches similarly I'm going to copy or you can simply rotate the bars so I created a copy and now I'm going to rotate it select the copy option in the rotate and enter 90 degrees now we have assigned a square mesh at the bottom of the isolated footing one has to come up and one has to go down both are main meshes in case of isolated square footing you can change the bar diameter from the property of the reinforcement bar I am taking it as 1 inches thick bar or diameter of the bar as 1 inches In order to view the bars in 3D, we go to edit visibility states after selecting all the bars and click on edit and select all the check options in 3D view. These options are dependent on the phases but right now we have to see the bars as solid in all of the phases. Let's go to 3D view and now the bars are visible as solid. The reinforcement rebars are now visible in 3D view as well. That is how we draw reinforcement in isolated footing using Autodesk Revit.